ratio and proportions. So first one is ratio. What is ratio? Ratio is the relation existing between any two quantities of the same kind. Okay. Suppose the two quantities A and B. Okay. So if the ratio of two quantities A and B of the same kind as A by B or this can be written as A divided by B or and it is denoted by A is to B. Means 2 is to 3 means it can be written as 2 by 3 or 2 divided by 3. Okay. And it is read, it can be read as 2 is to 3. So the symbol we use for is to. Okay. So this is 2 is to 3. Okay. Now the, the order of the terms in the ratio is important. That is 2 is to 3 is not equal to 3 is to so remember that the order of the ratio is very important. Okay. So in general, if these two numbers are not same, then A is to B and B is to A are different. Proportion. An equality of two ratios is called proportion. Equality of two ratios. Two ratios are called proportion. Okay. So, suppose A is to B is equal to C is to D. Okay. So, that uh, instead of this equal to sign, you can write the symbol also. So, that means A is to B is or C is to D. Okay. So, this first and fourth quantities are called, that is A and D are called extremes. And the second and third, that is B and C are called means. Okay. So, if A is to B is equal to C is to D, that means A, B, C and D in proportion. That is A is to B is equal to C is to D. We can write this as we have studied that A is to B can be written as A by B. C is to D can be written as C by D. So, we have two equal fractions. So, we can cross multiply. So, what do you get? AD is equal to BC. That means if A is to B is equal to C is to D, A and D are extremes. So, AD means product of extremes. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. Suppose A is to B is equal to B is to C. So that is you can see that A and C are called extremes. And here we have the same mean. Am I right? So that is means. So the, here you can see that these two means are same. Okay. So this is called actually this ratio is this proportion is called mean proportion. Mean proportion mean proportional of the extremes A and C. Means the means are same. Okay. So in that case what do you get? A is to B can be written as A by B. B is to C can be written as B by C. So cross multiply. AC is equal to B square. So you get B square is equal to AC means B is equal to root AC. So we say the mean proportion of a and C is equal to root AC. Okay. So, remember these two rules, the results, these two points in the case of proportion. Okay. So, that is A is to B is equal to C is to D. Then product of extremes is equal to product of means. That is AD is equal to BC. And if, if two quantities A and C are in mean proportional, that means A is to B is equal to B is to C. Then, A by B is equal to B by C, we get B is equal to root of AC. A and C are the extremes, B is the mean. So, if it is mean proportional to A and C, we, we will get B is equal to root AC. Compound ratio. So, further let us consider A ratio. Suppose A is to B. So, here A is called antecedent. 
and B is called consequent. Okay, so compound ratio means if the ratios are compounded by multiplying together, the antecedents for a new antecedent and the consequences for a new consequent. For example, 4 is to 3, one ratio, 9 is to 13, other ratio, 26 is to 5, other ratio, and we have one more ratio, 2 is to 50. Suppose we need to find the ratio compounded for the 4 ratio. For that, to find the compound ratio right here, compound ratio. Here we have, in first ratio antecedent is 4, here antecedent is 9, here antecedent is 26, here antecedent is 2. So multiply the antecedents. So what do you get? 4 into 9 into 26 into 2 is 2 and the multiplication that is product of the consequence. So we have 3, 13, 5, 50. So that is 3 into 13 into 5 into 50. So its meaning is actually 4 into 9 into 26 into 2 by 3 into 13 into 5 into 50. Now we can simplify this. So what do you get? We know that 26 is multiple of 13. So we can divide 26 and 13 by 13. 26 by 13 is 2. 13 by 13 is 1. Okay, now look at here 9 and 3. So 9 is equal to 3 into 3. So we can divide 3 by 3, we will get 1. 9 by 3, 3. Okay, now we can stop here. Okay, so what do you get? Numerator we have 4 into 3 into 2 into 2. 4 into 3 have 4 into 3 into 2 into 2 in the numerator. 1 into 1 that is 1 so no need to write. 5 into 15 in the denominator. Again we can simplify this because we can see that 3 and 15. 15 is multiple of 3. So we can divide 15 by 3 we get 3. 3 by 3 1. Okay. Now we have. So we have 4 into 2 into 2, 16 by 5 into 3, 50. So the compound ratio we can write this as 16 is to 50.